GitHub Copilot is an AI tool that provides you the code suggestions based on comments and the context of the file you are editing. For using the GitHub Copilot first we need to sign up and join the GitHub Copilot waitlist as it is in the preview mode and access is limited for a small size of the testers. Therefore we will join the waitlist. Now we need to wait to receive an email from GitHub Copilot and let us start using it. After receiving the email we will see the GitHub Copilot is already enabled on our account and now we can use the GitHub Copilot. Therefore now we need to go to VS Code extensions and find the github copilot extension then from here we can install the github copilot extension now we are asked to sign in with our github account to access the github copilot now in our helper class we want to have a get message function therefore we just need to write the function name then the github copilot will suggest us a snippet of code and by clicking on the tab we can accept the code which is suggested from the github copilot or else we can have a function to multiply two digits Therefore we just need to write the function name, then the github copilot suggests us the rest of code and we can accept them by clicking on the tab. Here in our homepage widget, we want to get the screen size, therefore we just write the screen size, then the github copilot will suggest us the rest of code and we can accept them by clicking on the tab. And then from this screen size, we can get the height of the screen separately. Even we can get the width of the screen as it is suggested from the github copilot. Now we want to have a scaffold widget and a text in the center of the body. Therefore we will write the scaffold with a text in center body and the github copilot will suggest us a snippet of code. We can accept this by clicking on the tab or we can go and open the github copilot and choose a different one. And as you can see the github copilot suggests us 10 solutions and we can accept one of them. For example I will accept this one. Now we have a scaffold widget and a text in the center of the body.